How's it going, guys? It's your main man, Scissor RJ, and we finally get the update. The Deja Loot World's Edge. Uh, this is for week one, and then in week two, it's going to be... Uh, well, I don't even know if it's in weeks or something like that. I don't know. It's only six days, so I guess during certain days... We're going to get King's Canyon anyway, though. I'm hyped about that, and I'm hyped about this game mode. Um, it's a really interesting game mode. I'm really pumped about this. Now we got the settings corrected and everything because I always aim with the L1 and fire it with the R1. Make sure to leave a comment below if you're also somebody that does it like the OG way. You know, L1 to aim and R1 to shoot. But let's just get right into it. I want to do health drain. Here we go. Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go! I'm excited. I'm really excited for this. Ooh, I'm so pumped. Muting the squad because I don't want anybody to hear me. But yeah, I am super excited for this. Now, the way this works is that if you haven't seen a trailer, you level up the shield by doing damage. So you gotta do a lot of damage in order to do that. To I'm choosing lifeline. Why not? Let's go. But yeah, the more damage you do, the more your shield will upgrade and all that stuff. So yeah. I don't know why, but I really like muting people on Apex just because the amount of toxicity I've seen, especially in ranked play, has been a little bit increased, or we just have a lot of bots that don't know how to actually play the game. But regardless, though, skill-based matchmaking, I'm sure, will give us uh, some great people. Oh, that's just, that's great. Yeah, that's great. Okay. That's, that's really pleasant. That is, that's really nice. I'm also playing Wizard 101 on the side. Got the Beast Moon Hunt, so I'm like gonna be like half available. We want to land in the middle? Okay. I don't recommend that, but hey, we can go in the middle. Yeah, like I'm like half looking at my screen right now. Oh my goodness. Alright. I gotta make like my last move in this. Here goes nothing. All right, let's do this. All right, pay attention now. Let's try it. Ah, I'm gonna go over here. Oh boy, I saw someone. Ah. What? Oh, got him. Yay, yay, yay! I'm playing wizard. You gotta finish it off. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm still like, I'm not even looking right now. I feel so bad. Up oh, here comes his teammate. I hear something. Oh. Oh wait, no, it's a mixture of shields. I want the Evo shield. Oh, I missed my turn. Level one. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm like, sorry for the crappy gameplay. Like I said, I'm playing wizard on the side. Be like, oh, I thought you stopped playing wizard. Be like, I did. Like, I, I did eventually. Um, so there's Evo shields. That's the one we want. So we want the Evo shield, and so we level this up basically by uh, what you might call it. Wait, that's not Evo shield. This is the Evo shield. Okay. It's a little, it's a little confusing, but yeah, I'll get the hang of it. I'll get the hang of it. But uh, yeah, game mode so far interesting. I mean, we didn't even try out the Evo shoot. We just got like one kill, and I don't even have a, I don't even have a secondary weapon. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm an actual bot right now. I'm an actual bot. But they did change some things though. We should be probably discussing the patch notes while I'm talking. But yeah, basically they changed uh, Gibby. His gun shield now has a lower health point. So like, it's gonna go down a little bit quicker or you'll notice that change. Uh, but uh, damn, that dude killed him with a frag grenade. Oh, speaking of ordinances, they changed it. So now it won't stack the two. So you can only carry like one grenade and that will basically consume a slot. It's like a whole thing. I probably, I probably just make a separate video on it. Honestly, I, honestly, like I, I, I will probably just make a separate video. Oh, I hate this weapon. Oh my gosh. Can I get a different weapon? Here we go. Reloading. Where, where, where? I don't even see. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I'm a bot. 
bot. I'm a bot. I am really a bot. Wow, this dude's getting so many kills with the L-Stone. I can't even get a hit with it. I am a bot. Oh yeah, this dude's dead. I feel so bad for be playing so badly. But honestly, I'm giving myself some self-credit though because some people like there's a lot of bots in this game. Some people can't play this game. Like I'm I'm not I'm not going to lie. Like some people they just can't play it. But yeah, if you did need help with this game, the only thing I could recommend is just look in your options and change the sensitivity. But we should go over the patch notes. So anyway, they changed the inventories. So like I said, you can only carry like one grenade slot. So it's kind of weird. You can only carry one grenade. It used to be two, but it increased to one or decreased to one. So now you're going to have to really play with your ordinances like the arc stars and, you know, frag grenades. If you ever have that in your inventory, you can't really have a lot of those. I had to mute them. I don't, know. I don't like talking to random people. It's kind of weird. But yeah, like I said, I think there's actually an option to preset it to mute people. I have no idea. But yeah, like I said, um, they changed the inventory. That's pretty much like the main part of the update is the whole inventory space. I don't know if they increased it or decreased it. Yeah, I just, I, I, I'll make a separate video on it. This dude wants lifeline. I'll play Gibby. I will play Gibby. Try out the new Gibby buff. It's not even a buff, it's a nerf. What am I saying? I mean, at this point, Gibraltar is one of the, like, good legends. I mean, when I first made the video with the Dome Shield and the Revive, that was crazy. That blew up to like 15,000, which obviously isn't a lot of views, but to me, that's like, wow, a lot of people like this, or it was just in a recency. But like, to see him revive like that, that's just awesome to me, man. And it just makes me wonder if every legend got their own animation of a revive, that would be pretty cool. Uh, okay, I really don't want to land in the middle again, just because I am not confident. There's a predator. Oh, no, there's two predators. Okay. Oh, there's lots of diamonds in here, too. So, two predators. Well, it's not that hard to get in diamonds. I guess I was just Hope you're ready. Let's do this, brother. Loot in the same location every match. Drop ship path in the final circle change daily. Okay, interesting. And like I said, I'm playing Wizard 101 on the side, so, like, I am, like, not even looking right now. I'm, like, multitasking. Once this match is over, which is about to, in Beast Moon Hunt, then I can look at the screen. Wee! Wee! But yeah, I've been playing a little bit of Wizard 101 here from there. I've been trying to make it a little cryptic, though. So if you are someone that does watch my channel, then you'll know that I am back on Wizard, confirming that. I don't know when I'm gonna start making the uh, videos again. Initially, it was gonna be November because that was when the new world came in, but for some reason, everybody else was starting to play Wizard, and I'm like, okay, I feel left out. So, played Wizard again. Uh, pretty fun. Played with the babes, played with my girlfriend. It was pretty fun. You know, it's always the nostalgia that brings it back. You know, a lot of hate goes towards the game, which. Obviously, I can understand it. It is a terrible Thank game. You. I mean, it is not the same as what it used to be, like, back in 2008. Like, if you haven't played that game in a while, just don't. It's it's just like, oh, uh, man. It, the game has changed so much, and it's just like, I don't know. It's just not the same anymore. But, you know, when you're playing with friends, it's a little better. And it's always the nostalgia that brings you back, you know. I mean, I don't got membership, but playing Dark more from time to time is pretty fun. And blue team won, so now we can get off a wizard and put 100% energy into our uh, little Apex game. There's probably no reason to edit this video, though, because everybody and their mom is obviously going to post something about Apex. So probably not even going to... Uh, oh, oh, oh! Good eye. Good eye. Oh, okay. All right. Ah, uh, my booty. Oh no, I can hear a Pathfinder. I know! Protect me! Give me my shields Protect me! I feel like I'm about to get shot up. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, back up, back up, back I got you! Oh, somebody's coming up. 
I hear them. Enemy spotted. I don't see them. No, I don't see them. Do you got any like uh, precision check? I'll take that. Thank you. Oh, by the way, I feel like the triple take has been bugged. I don't know about y'all, but this triple take, I've been using that lately. It's pretty good. It, it's pretty good. I I usually didn't like using the triple take initially. Like, I initially didn't want to. But, like, I'm using it, and I'm like, okay, this weapon's kind of overpowered. Like, I don't know. It's a three-barrel sniper rifle, so obviously the bullet spread is going to be crazy. But, like, if you land your shots with this weapon, it actually does some damage. And I started noticing this when I started getting killed or hit with it. I was like, wow, I'm taking a lot of damage. I wonder what weapon that's from. It's from the triple take. And I'm like, whoa, that's the weapon? Uh-oh, sonar detected. Oh, uh, another cool thing. They increased Gibraltar's, uh... Oh, he has gold. Oh, my. Let's see that. Gold. Oh, that dude has an Evo shield. Probably gonna die down here. Oh, no. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Yeah! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! I'm sorry, where is my team at? Oh, my team died. Oh! Oh, y'all dead! Oh! Get your ass up, bro! Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, man. I actually really like this game mode. I, I still haven't tried out the whole Evo Shield thing. I still did not try out the whole Evo Shield thing, but... <laughs> I really like this game mode. But, yeah, the main update they did was that they increased Bloodhound's range. Um, so they increased the scan, which is pretty cool. And, like I said, they also did the whole inventory thing. So it's a little weird, or it feels weird. I know they changed the Peacekeeper's ammo clip to, like, five now. It used to be six, but they changed it to five. So, And I think they decreased the reload speed. or they increased the reload speed. I'm not really sure the specifics. I'll just make a separate video on that. But, honestly... I'm not sure how I feel about that because I used to carry like a bunch of uh, whatchamacallit I used to carry like a bunch of grenades now but since they changed the whole inventory thing and you can only carry like one grenade slot that kind of sucks now like it kind of sucks but I don't know well I'll see how it feels because the grenades are overpowered obviously up oh, somebody chose Wraith. if you are with me I'm with you um, guess only one person can play Wraith there, son. I know a lot of people play Lifeline, but, like, I love playing Lifeline. Like, I love being the medic in any video game I play. I just, I just love it. Like, I love being the medic, man. I just, I just love it. Like, I have 700 revives with Lifeline. I can't wait to get a thousand revives. That's gonna be awesome. Okay, that's some awesome stats right there. All right. That is beautiful. Yeah, I'm not even sure if this is skill-based oh, matchmaking anymore. I think we're just getting a bunch of tryhards. But I'm not going to blame the whole skill-based matchmaking on how bad I play, honestly. Like, I'm not going to blame that. Like, I know a lot of people are blaming skill-based matchmaking. Like, oh, this, I'm versing a bunch of people that have, like, 500 million kills. Like, oh my god, it's not fair. I'm an average player. And I'm just sitting there like, but bruh. Those stats don't lie, though. And that is true. The average person, if you do have average stats and you get paired up with, like, MLG players that should be in, like, the league or something, then, yeah, it's not fair. But at the same time, that's just something you just have to adapt to. Like, you're just gonna have to get used to it. Like, whatever they did... Oh, my gosh. Oh, pick up a weapon! Pick up a weapon! Oh, I'm dead. Oh! I'm dead! Help! Help! Please! Please! No! He's so low! He's so low! Oh my god, I'm dead. I only had three bullets! Team, please! Oh my gosh. Oh, they're probably gonna die from the Monte. Oh yeah, he's dead. He's so low, he's just healing. 
Ah, oh, but there was nothing I could do. I only had three bullets. Ah. I'm just hiding under here. I'm just hiding under here. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this whole uh, event. Maybe I'm just not good at the game anymore, guys. I don't know. Oh, God, he sees me. Oh, no, he doesn't see me. He doesn't. <laughs> Come get me up, bro. Come get me up. Come get me up. Oh, I think he's reviving. Oh, he's reviving again. Go. Oh, no, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not playing right. I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about this event, though. I'm getting a lot of, like... I'm getting a lot of tryhards. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not good at the game anymore. Nicole, am I not good at the game anymore? Should I... I know. Should I delete the game? Should I just delete the game? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Let's delete the game! I should delete the game. Uh, <laughs> I should delete it. I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna delete it. Nah, I'm just kidding. Now! Nah! I'm not gonna delete it! Oh man. I remember when this game first came out, and I, I was looking at Respawn's like uh, Twitter page, and uh, I was initially waiting for Titanfall 3 because I was in love with the Titanfall series. And that's what everybody thought, like, ooh. But then I saw it, and I was like, ooh, it's a battle royale. And then I was like, ooh, this is cool. Introducing your and then they messed it all up. No, I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh, what's the predators today? Oh my goodness. There's like three predators in a row right now. Oh my gosh. Maybe this is skill-based magic. I don't know. Like, I don't know if the tryhards are playing right now. Like, I don't, I don't know. But I'm getting a little scared. I'm getting a little scared. Man, uh, that's probably more predators too. I like to go over the dome. Area. Nobody ever goes to the dome area. I love going here at the dome. It's nice. Yeah, going to the dome is nice. Well, whenever King's Canyon comes out, that's going to be great. I wish they would just... Ah, oh man, there's just a lot of things I wish they would do for the game. Like, I really do wish that they would put the Duos game mode as a permanent. Now, for solos, I can't see. Like, I know a lot of people want solos and stuff like that and all this. Yummy, yummy, yummy. But, like, I don't know. This is kind of like a team-based game. Like, I can't see solo happening. Like, I saw it the one time. I never got a chance to play solo mode. But, you know, I saw it the first time. And it's like, I don't know. It just, it kind of feels awkward playing by yourself. My uncle would always tease me and be like, why are you playing by yourself? Leah, like, why are you touching yourself? I'm like, I'm not touching myself. Like, leave me alone. You're a bully. But he would make this type of symbolism of why are you playing with yourself? Because it's an online game, so you're already fighting back that multiplayer capability aspect of it. Obviously, you're versing other players, but you're all by yourself. And I think this game is meant to be, obviously, a team-based game, you know? I mean, I don't know. There would just be a lot of things that you couldn't really do without the other person. A good example would be, like, Lifeline. So, Lifeline can revive people with her little medic drone. And she can use her medic drone to heal others. Obviously, she can heal herself, obviously. Which might give her the aspect of being a solo champion, like a solo player. However, though, she wouldn't be able to revive any allies because, obviously, you're playing solo. So that's already one of her, like, main passives. Like, I don't know, is that, like, one of her passives or something like that? Like, I wish it would show the screen, but... <clears throat> that's already one of her abilities that you wouldn't be able to, obviously, use. And so, like, what would be the point of solo if you wouldn't be able to do that? I don't know. And then the same thing would have to go with, like, the death totem. You wouldn't have any allies that would be able to use the death totem. It would only be you. Maybe, I don't know, maybe Revenant could be a solo player. But again, you have Gibraltar, which revives faster with his dome shield. And obviously, you wouldn't have any allies to revive with. So, I don't know. And you wouldn't have any allies to protect in the dome shield. I mean, I don't know. Like, I understand that people want to play by themselves. Like, they don't want to play with bots, or they don't want to play with people. They're antisocial, or, you know, I don't know. But for me, though, I've always been kind of like a multiplayer guy, and I've never really liked playing by myself, just because it's kind of just boring. 
for me personally, you know, this is, this is all my thing. Like, if you want to play solo, I respect that. Like, I, I totally respect that. But I don't know if Apex is technically the game to be doing that with, uh, in my personal opinion. They kind of like, uh, whatchamacallit, they kind of advertise this game as this, like, tactical, not even, I don't know if it's tactical, I don't even know, but they made it into this type of team-based game with all these different legends and stuff like that. It almost reminds me of Overwatch, you know? Like, you wouldn't play Overwatch by yourself. Like, that doesn't make sense to me. I don't know. I don't know. I just think they're a team game. I don't know. I mean, if people want to play by themselves, I, I mean, I ain't gonna hit them or anything, but, like, I don't know. Ooh, that precision choke? I will take that. Ooh, and an extended sniper mag. I will also take that. I didn't even know I had that. Like, I'm just, like, on autopilot right now. I actually can scoop. But, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe duos. Like, I can see duos. Me and Jagger had so much fun on duos, you know. But I'm not sure how I would technically feel about the game being in solos mode. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Now, the thing is, though, <clears throat> it doesn't matter. Alright, if they had their own, like, solo mode game mode, strictly for solo, then I don't care about that. Yeah, I, I don't really care. And honestly, I don't think anybody should care about the whole solo mode or duos mode. There's a care package coming down. Because it doesn't technically affect them. Like, if people want to play by themselves, they can play by themselves. Like, they shouldn't have to be affected by that for people that do want to play multiplayer. So, I don't know why people are getting so mad about the whole solo and duos mode debacle. Like, if we get it as a permanent game mode, then that's good. I just don't know why people don't want it to happen. Like, I don't know. It's just weird. It's, it's, it kind of reminds me of the Pink Mercy skin. I'll mention that in the Overwatch commentary when I'm bored. But it reminds me of that. It's like it's like people want to feel special or something. Like I don't know. It's, it's a weird thing. I don't know. It's weird. But if they did add it in, though, I think that would be great. It would definitely bring some players in. I don't know, though. I don't think it really should bother anyone. Like, if you want to play with friends, play with friends. Nobody's stopping you. Like, jeez. <laughs> like, honestly, nobody's stopping you. If you want to play by yourself, play by yourself. If you want to play with others, play with others. Like, nobody really is... Nobody's holding a gun at your head, right? Like, you can do whatever you want, bro. Like, you're playing the video game. Do whatever you want, man. Do whatever you want. I haven't seen a single enemy yet, but every time we go to the Harvester... Every time we go to the Harvester, there's like one enemy. I just know it. There's like one enemy. But yeah, I don't know why solo mode really bothers everybody. I mean, if they have it, they have it. I mean, I think it would be great. I mean, personally for me, I'll always play the regular game mode because I like playing with other people, but like... If you can't cooperate with people, or if you don't like solo mode, don't play solo mode. Or you shouldn't be crushing on other people's preferences. Like, it's all about preference at the end of the day, and I don't know why people always crush on that. Like, oh, ew. Like, what do you mean, ew? It's just my preference. Like, me and my girlfriend, right? Me and my girlfriend are watching Seven Deadly Sins on Netflix, and we really liked the dub, the voice acting. The dub voice acting was really good. Uh, change my mind. Yeah, change my mind. So, we listened to the dub voice acting, and it was really nice. You know, it was really nice. You know, we listened to that, and I was like, oh, this is so cool. You know, and season three came out, and they don't have it in dub yet. But when we watched the first episode, or at least we tried to watch the first episode, it felt weird to us because me and my girlfriend are so used to the English dub voice acting. I don't know, I just really like the English dub voice acting. I like the Japanese one too, but I feel like the English one gives it that more authentic vibe with it. Like Bon, the voice actor for Bon and Meliodas, I really like the voice actors, but I don't know, it's just all about preference at the end of the day. And if it bothers you that much, then I think you have a personal problem. Like, I think you personally have a personal problem that you personally need to deal with. Same thing with the Pink Mercy skin, you know? And like I said, I'll talk more about the Pink Mercy skin in the Overwatch video, but... Like, if if having that skin back, like... If that skin ever does return... And you have a problem with it, then, like, that's your own personal problem. Like, I know personally that I bought it, $15 skin, yeah, it's a $15 skin. I bought it on day one, 
So I already know my worth, alright girl? I already know my worth. And I already know that I bought it. I was like a day one bro. I was like a day one Pink Mercy skin contributor to the Breast Cancer Foundation. And I felt really good about myself, honestly. I was really skeptical, honestly, about the uh, whole uh, Pink Mer- Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, good eye. I didn't even see that. I hear them. No, that's Gibby's fat ass. I took off my scope too. Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Dude is awesome smoke, bro! Bro, oh my god, take a frag grenade, bro. Oh my gosh. I'm hiding in the corner. This is actually scary. I hear somebody get revived, bro. Oh no! Holy crap! This dude got a double kill with his rocket barrage. Holy crap. Or with his uh, creeping barrage, is what it's called. Okay. The Evo shield, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm not sure how I feel about the whole Evo shield stuff. Just the next Evo is in 300 out. damage. Okay. I'm not a big fan of the Evo shield. I don't know if I just suck at the game right now. Maybe I just suck at the game, but like... I feel like if you want the Evo shield, you're gonna have to do like damage at a very far range. So I'm not sure how I feel about it. Like, I'm, I'm not I'm not feeling it. Like, I feel like if I have the Evo shield, I'm gonna do terrible. So I'm not sure how I initially feel about it, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens, but I am not that confident right now. Oh, uh, there's a shotgun bolt back there somewhere, but I didn't pick it up. Oh, well. Yeah, okay. So if you get the Evo shield, definitely try to do some distance because, yeah, definitely want to be careful of that. I mean, I did do some damage. I thought that when you do it enough damage, it would refill your shield, but I guess it just upgrades it. It doesn't actually, like, refill it, refill it. Interesting. I was interesting concept. I like it. I like it. But I gotta play for real, though. I gotta, I gotta play for real, though. I, I feel like a bot. Like, I feel like a bot. I want to try and contribute to the team, at least. And we'll probably make this the last match, and then I'll let you guys go. This video's probably been going on for maybe 20-ish minutes, or... 15 minutes, but I'm pretty sure it's 20 minutes, and I know a lot of people, I can't climb, oh my gosh, oh I can't, I can't see, I can't see, I can't see, ah my eyes, oh my god, they're rushing, they're rushing, they're rushing, they're rushing. yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of the Evo shield, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the Evo shields, I, I'm not, I'm just not a big fan of them. I understand that you gotta get damage to level it up, but at the same time, it's like, ugh. I'm not sure if I can actually do it like that. But, hopefully I can get some clips of me winning. I will see you guys later, and let me know what you guys think about this uh, game mode. It's an interesting game mode, but it's gonna take some time to adjust. I'm probably gonna do the rest of these challenges. My name is Sizzle RJ, and I will let you guys go. Peace out.